We're checking in now with our late news regular money man, Scott Phillips, Chief Investment Officer at Motley Fool. Good to see you, Scott. We've seen some of the lowest GDP numbers in decades today. Uh, Tracy, we really have, unfortunately, 0.2% for the quarter means 1.5% over the past year. That's the lowest it's been if you exclude the COVID period since the year 2000, if you can believe that, the best part of two and a half decades. It's been a really, really tough time for the Australian economy, really underscoring just how tough people are doing it. I guess the positive take could be that we could potentially avoid a recession. Could we, Scott? Yeah, that, that, that's absolutely positive. I have to say, while 0.2% is disappointing, the reality is it could have been far, far worse. We, in fact, some economists were suggesting, and even Treasurer Chalmers last week kind of said, oh, I'll be ready for it. I did think at that point maybe he had a whisper and maybe things were going to be pretty rugged. Uh, net exports added 0.6 points to GDP, as did government spending. Now, you don't have to do the maths too difficult to, to, to back that out. Mm. And so we would have been in negative territory had those two things not happened. A very, very tough time, as you say. Any cause for concern from the Reserve Bank's next move for the Reserve Bank's next move? This will be really interesting, Tracy. Mm. I, I don't think so. I, I guess the real challenge for them is they've still got an inflation number at 4.1% for the last quarter, only 3.4% for the last month, but they're seeing both those numbers are still too high. They've talked a lot, both the previous governor and the current governor, Michelle Bullock, have talked about this soft landing, the narrow path uh, that we're on to try and avoid recession while fixing inflation. They won't be too upset about these numbers. They were still positive. That's a win. I dare say they'll be pretty comfortable if potentially, considering whether they may need to cut rates sooner than they were previously planning to. OK. Speaking of the economy being weak, we've seen another Australian business collapse. Yeah, and not really not a, uh, again, not a pretty picture. We're going to mm. see more of these through 2024, Tracy, as well as more job losses, unfortunately. That's almost certain. This time, Tiger Lily, the swimwear brand that's been in administration, if it sounds familiar, only four years ago. The company went broke. It was bought out of administration, run again for the last three and a half years. Unfortunately, again today, going back into administration. It just goes to show this when spending gets pulled back, particularly for discretionary items, makes it very, very tough for some of those businesses. It sure does. Finally, Scott, what are the US futures pointing to? Probably in keeping with the theme of tonight, Tracy, unfortunately, we're expecting a decline in US futures. Not by much, so that's pretty positive. But if the futures are right, when Wall Street opens, it'll probably fall by about a tenth of 1%. All right, Scott, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much. Thanks, Tracy.